As Russia's attack on Ukraine intensifies, many Nigerians are attempting to flee west of the country in search of safety. Thousands of Nigerians studying and working in Ukraine are currently stranded, some with no means of transportation and no way of getting to a safe border. A few citizens caught in the middle of this large-scale military attack spoke on their distressing experience over the past few days. We just want to move away from where it's like very hot right now. At least we just want to get to somewhere that, you know, even if things are going on there, it's not like as much as the capital city, basically, just to at least hide our heads for some time before we try to move again. We just have food here, basically. I mean, basic things that we need to get by for a few days. Like we're going like in uh not to call numbers, right? Like, we're trying to get as much people that we can, you know, to get out of here together. Dami left Kiev for the west of Ukraine with about 20 other Nigerians. Unsure of exactly where she was going, the idea was simply to head as far west as possible. This is a journey that several Nigerians have taken over the past few days, with most attempting to cross borders and leave Ukraine. But there have been reports of Nigerians and other Africans being denied entry, particularly into Poland, with the Federal Ministry of Foreign Affairs confirming that Nigerians have faced issues crossing borders. It is now advised that Nigerians cross into Hungary or Romania, and some citizens have reportedly been able to do so. Dami is currently at the Romanian border attempting to cross over, but feels more initial support could have been given to Nigerians in the country. This was going to come up ever since. They didn't make any plans. They didn't, they didn't have a sit down. They didn't even put it in the news. They didn't even talk about it to allow us to know that they're doing something because obviously they did not care. But they didn't care until when like we started going on Twitter and talking about it or when people from here were calling the embassy. And like that was when they decided that, oh, let's do something. Let's try to evacuate them when the airspaces are not working. Some Nigerians can't leave certain parts of the country. A medical student living in the northeastern Ukrainian city of Sumy, a region that's just 60 kilometers away from the Russian border, spoke to me under the condition of anonymity. Preparing for the worst, she and her sister booked flights to leave Nigeria and tried to leave before the invasion, but it was too late. Sumy is reportedly heavily affected by the fierce fighting. And like many Nigerians who live there, she simply has no way out. Generally, the reason why we were not able to leave in the first place was because um, we're in school, so we can't up and go home because we have to attend like classes as well. So um, we were waiting for information from school, and when we finally got it, all we got was they told us not to panic and that school would continue. We had to go to classes like normally, so there was no way for us to just go home because here, like in Ukraine generally, not just in my school, if you miss classes or you don't attend lectures, it's going to, you're going to have to make up for it. You're going to have to pay, make up for it. And if you are not able to like make up for it, it can get you expelled for school. And um, another reason why we're not able to leave because, was because um, it was, Closer to the time that um, this war kept aggravating and everything, people were trying to book their tickets, their flight tickets, and the prices were like extremely high. Obviously, not everyone is going to be able to pay for the flight tickets immediately. Yeah, so we couldn't leave because um, the buses were not working. There were no cabs picking people. Um, so there was no way for us to go. And then later on, we kept seeing like people in other cities um, saying that there were bombings in their cities and everyone just had to just find somewhere safe to go at that moment. As the invasion continues, several Nigerians in Ukraine are left in fear, facing a horrifying reality. Not only is there a battle to stay alive, but also against the alleged secondary treatment of Nigerian citizens trying to get to safety. Many simply have nowhere to go, and with limited options available, it is hard to plan or question what happens next. Right now, not much is clear. The only mission is to survive. Leila Johnson Salami, Arise News.